next, uh, say next, the second person I'm going to bring up, and everyone always seems to laugh when I bring it up, even though I've just said he's just passed away. The Iron Sheik. I mean, everyone's got a story. Don't <laughs> say <it>. USA. <laughs> uh. <laughs> did, did you oh, did you God. meet him first I, when he still had hair and he didn't have the mustache? I mean, no, he's had the mustache. That's cars. I, I uh, <laughs> just to be around him, it, it was an experience. And uh, if I could go back and be on the road with him again years ago, you know, I, I would pay an admission <laughs> to get in to that back seat of that car. <laughs> Not only was he a good person, but he was funny as hell. And now, you know, uh, I'm not the one that can throw the first stone. Uh, I've been with Kaz in many places, Puerto Rico. You know, uh, you know what I'm talking about, boys. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to insult anybody's intelligence. I was out there with him. I hung out with him. We did the same thing. I remember we were coming back from uh, – and I, I don't know if you're familiar about the States or not, but in Texas, uh, you go down into the Valley and that's down by Mexico. And when you come back through, you have to go through cut. It's not customs, but they're just making sure you don't have no dope or nothing coming back from meeting somebody down there by the border. And, uh, we, <laughs> when we pull there, they recognize us. And the guy says, come here, man, I want to show y'all something that we just got. And so we walked into this room and, uh, the police officer, the customer, he, I mean, it was just bales, a pot. They just smoking pot, just stacked up everywhere. And the guy cut it, cut one of them and it just popped open real big. And a big old bud about that long stuck out <laughs> and cause tells him, he goes, Hey, Hey, maybe on chic get sample. <laughs> you know, I'm going, oh, God, guys, please don't do that. And then I'm going down the road with Jimmy Garvin and Michael Hayes. We're going to TV in Columbus, Georgia, and I'm in the back seat with Kaz. Right at there that's coming up, it says roadblock. <laughs> roadblock in a, in a mile. So look here, Michael Hayes and Jimmy both handed their pot. Throw this out the window. Sheik grabs it, puts it right in his pocket. And like he ro- and he rose the window down like he threw it out. So uh we get up there, but the roadblock is where you get off at the exit. We're we're still going straight. So they're not checking us. And Michael Hayes goes, Oh God, Jimmy, we threw our pot away. And uh Sheik reaches out and pulls it out. And Michael goes, Oh gosh, thank you for keeping our pot. Oh, uh, uh, you uh you tell throw pot out. She take the heat if get caught. This is Sheik's pot. <laughs> <laughs> this belonged to Sheik. <laughs> oh, he was serious too. <laughs> he kept them both. Uh, but I love Cos. He was another one. What a character he was in our business. With Sheik, I always he always seems to be in so much trouble all the time, and yet never gets the consequences. He always seems to be in car crashes, or he seems to be like confronted by the police and he gets away with it, or he goes to a, a store to try and buy beer on a Sunday in a dry county, and he always comes away with beer. Oh yeah, how does he's, he how know, does he get away with it? Well, it just like he's uh, dumbfounded that he don't understand the laws and uh, the stuff of the United States. Uh, and and plus he, I, I wouldn't say that he was a con man. They're not a con man because he had paid for it. He got he just slick, you know. He just, <laughs> that's the way I look at it. Uh, I've got to ask this about Sheik as well. We, you were in WCW at the time when Iron Sheik was uh, unwittingly uh, renewed. WCW unwittingly renewed his contract. I think he had a one year contract that would roll over to mm-hmm. a second year, and they sent him home after a few matches and just forgot he was under contract. And it ro- and he got paid for an entire new year. I uh, I heard about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's one of the lucky ones, <laughs> <laughs> you know. He just <laughs> and he's but you see, uh, you know, as long as they're paying you and and you're sitting at home, I w- I wouldn't call the office either and ask them if I'm booked today. <laughs> I just I would just hide. <laughs> 